Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. May all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap.
And what is your answer to those saying that he is actually providing service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure the kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. taking care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. and the Sundance Kid, a hero's end, going out with guns blazing. Never heard of it. Okay, newer stuff, man. The usual suspects, where Spacey walks out of the police station and suddenly loses his limb. Or oh, hey, seven, where Brad Pitt gets to that head-sized, blood-soaked cardboard box. Now I know. Freaking zombie team is from outer space. <laughs>
I had dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares, of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me, Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the Inner Circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry. Woden's move in some Byzantine power game had cut the Circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess too.
CIA, FBI, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Sure, good for a practice run. But this, working for her, oh, this is the real thing. The money's astronomical. And best of all, you get to kill any scumbag who gets in your way. Send me back up. which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems.
Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. No! A gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl, not really a stone-cold killer. And now she was stone-cold dead. Like religious fanatics or loyal samurai, Horn's private army was coming at me. down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear, as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. movie to the mainframe from there I
units were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator... <laughs> stack of expensive paper. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno, all of the above. Take your pick. I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. Valkyr had been meant to be a white-winged maiden that would lift you to a warrior's heaven, but it turned out to be a one-way demon ride to hell. The devil was in the drug. I knew. I had met him. And now I was gonna kill her. The queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money. No begging. No bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die. Both of us knew how this would end, in pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here.
We have him in the north round. <laughs>
They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was all over. The storm seemed to lose its frenzy. The ragged clouds gave way to the stars above. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. We've got the building surrounded. Throw down your weapons and lie down with your hands behind your head. A bit closer to heaven. Cops' voices were distant and muted. Freeze! NYPD! Hold it right there! My ghosts released me from their haunting. Down below, New York City glittered like diamonds on black velvet. You gave us one hell of a ride. Take him down to Central Booking. You heard the man. Woden was there in the crowd, standing by the sidelines. It wouldn't be over till the man with the patch would say so. He'd say the right words. I knew he would. He'd better. Woden grinned smugly. It was the grin of a winner. That made two of us. 